I've been lucky enough to grab myself a Ribco R28S and I'm going to be trying to get my hands on one of these every event to give one of the guys a lift and get to know them on the way to work. Would you like a lift? How are you going? Good. How's the training been? Oh, it's been tricky. Yeah, I mean, we're just, it's been a couple of days now. I don't think we started these boats as much all last season, so. You guys having fun? Yeah, having a ball. So you're known for your sailing ability, but you're also known for your dancing ability. Mm. Would you like to maybe give us an insight as to where that dance came yeah. from? It might come out again if we win something really big one day. Um, but the, the dance actually came from, everyone asked me this, is Kinley Fowler nominated a song that we found as our team song. Okay. I think it's called The Stroke. Very good song, um, which is used in a movie called Blaze of Glory. It has Ch Chaz Michael Michaels doing his figure skating ice routine. Uh, you know, really sexy, really awesome guy, just everyone wants to be him, all ladies want to be with him. But yes, that, that song and then that dance was for the boys, like when we crossed the line, it was a tough week, you know, Nate was killing us that week. And when we won, it was kind of just like a habit just to be like, sh for the short team, and then just start dancing away. And it wasn't even for the TV, it was, it was for, for those guys and the chopper quarter and it just went pretty viral. <laughs> so you, you prepared that, surely? No, no, it was just, um, you know, a couple of years of chicken dancing on, uh, during high school formals and weddings, but uh, yeah, that was just, it's just yeah, instinct kind of just came out. Who's the cheerleader on the team and like pumps everyone up? Is that you? Um, I, I think like, I'm a pretty positive attitude guy. Like, and Tommy, he's, uh, he puts a lot of pressure on himself. We, I mean, put we all put pressure on ourselves, but he, he takes it to heart, you know, each time. And um, it's just important to, rem to remind him, you know, you're, mate, you're, one the, you're the, if not, one of, if not the best in the world and you got the best a couple of the best blokes around you to get the boat around the track and we can do this kind of thing and try almost get out of your head try get us out of our head a bit and then just remember just to go back to your natural sailing and you'll be fine back yourself you know yeah so obviously there's there's a weigh-in coming up How, uh, i think you guys are the biggest team how's everyone going like have you have you had to stash the dairy milk away and hide it from the other guys yeah you see, I, i've been hiding that the problem is the m m's um, courtney who's our awesome personal like assist she looks after us uh, she keeps buying m m's and I have to keep hiding them in the in the lockers away, like or give them to the shore tail. Like, guys, you gotta eat, eat, eat them before we get back on the shore. So, um, who's your biggest culprit? Um, Tommy. Tommy <laughs> doesn't eat anything but me. So the M and M's are just for him. Well, is, I mean, like you gotta have your colours. So that's yeah, exactly. why it's M &Ms, <laughs> yeah, true, so. absolutely. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're we're actually for the first time almost ever. We're probably actually as in a, in the best spot we've been for the weigh-in.